siblings, an older sister and two younger brothers. My sister, she was the first grandchild on both sides of my family. So for dad's parents, mom's parents, Crystal was the first grandbaby. And I hear from people that have grand grandchildren that you love them all, you really do love them all, but there's something about that first one that just does something for you. And so Crystal was the first one. So, you know, they named her Crystal because she was the light in everybody's eyes and all that stuff. <laughs> and I remember when we were growing up that my grandparents on daddy's side, my grandmother would send this box of stuff it really would be all of, of stuff for Crystal. It was all in her size. I know what her thinking was. Grandmother's thinking was that if she sent it in crystal size, then you know everybody else would be able to take advantage of it at some point. So this box would come, it would have Crystal's name on it. We'd both stand there together opening up this box of goodies. And I remember being so excited and intrigued as we opened it up because there was stuff in there that little girls used to wear. I'm not talking about Old Navy and Baby Gap, mm-mm. This was like, you know, the hoop skirts with the lace at the bottom and the patent leather shoes and the huge bows. And so we'd pull it out and man, we would be mesmerized at all this stuff. Now there was one year and I don't remember exactly why. Maybe I was just a little bit older that year, but I remember standing there with the box, looking at it as everything was coming out in crystal size. And this particular year, I just wasn't excited about it no more because I was watching all this stuff come out that I used to think, as I used to watch all these dresses and all these big beautiful things coming out of the box, I used to think it's okay that it's in crystal size because she's soon gonna grow out all this stuff and it will all soon be mine. But on this particular occasion, maybe because I was a little bit older, I stood back and I thought, you know what? I would like a box to come with my name on it. I want a box to come in the mail with a whole bunch of stuff that's inside that has been specifically chosen just for me. And it occurs to me that in our walks with the Lord, at some point you ought to be a little bit mature enough that you become a little bit dissatisfied with hand-me-down revelation. That you're grateful for secondhand insight, but it doesn't satisfy you anymore because all of a sudden you're thinking, you know what? I want to hear the voice of God myself. That I don't want to constantly live my entire Christian life being spoon fed the word of God. That I don't want to have to rely on somebody else to tell me what thus says the Lord. That the same Holy Spirit that lives inside that person whose ministry I might admire, that pastor, that teacher, that leader, that writer, that author who helps me, thank you Lord, to rightly divide the word of truth that I realize the same Holy Spirit that lives in them is the same Holy Spirit that lives in me. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Ikamala Mutimsi Wagon Groups A very warm welcome to everybody And if you're new here, pretty please don't leave without subscribing And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back <laughs> Guys, it's a Sunday and I'm heading out to church I am so happy and delighted I even get to go to church today Because I haven't been in quite a while And that's because I've been busy with work and stuff but then i am back come along with me catch up later quick outfit of the day i just have this cute 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 blazer that i love so much a red bag i'd much rather have a black bag but then um my black bag is damaged so a girl needs to go shopping but then this is it guys this is me i just have these cod heels they're called ne? Cut heels and then I've got a dress underneath. I can wear this um, blazer yard because it's more of a dress situation but then it's too short for church so yeah come along with me. Hey guys welcome to a new day so um, I haven't seen you guys in the whole week I haven't seen you. Um, we last saw each other on Sunday and prior to that I started getting um, period cramps so my body was signaling Wooty girl it's about to go down and on Sunday it went down. <laughs> on Sunday I went on my period so I spoke to you in the morning and then as the day went guys I just felt and that actually set the tone for my 
for the rest of the week like the first two three days i was just man down and um yeah so i've just been taking it easy i haven't vlogged and isolo i went to Isoeta to run a few errands with my mom and then um yeah so today's a saturday which is essentially the beginning of this vlog basically um we are gonna go get grocery thing is grocery items for a so i saw this um cheese and bacon burger on instagram and i thought i want to try it out so we are getting ingredients for that and then um, we're going to make it together i've also always wanted to um replant or repot my um flower i'll show it to you guys um but then yeah so i'm not sure if we need to get manure or we need to get soil or whatever but we'll go past the nursery to get that checked out as well and get expert advice um i hope you enjoy this vlog thank you so much for being here and come along with me quick errand out first just this oversized t-shirt tags and slides
just finishing off um, editing this vlog and I thought I should close it thank you so much for being here guys yesterday's burgers turned out so beautiful the burger patties so succulent it was so cheesy the hamburger rolls very buttery like everything was on point and yeah we had like we had good dinner despite the exhaustion and aching feet and stuff but then yeah i was also just reminded this morning as i'm busy editing what may we live in the reality of birds and lilies the same way that birds don't worry about their next meal it's the same way that we shouldn't worry about what we're going through in life or our circumstances and situations the same way that lilies don't worry about when they're going to blossom how are they going to blossom who's going to water them but then they blossom anyway and they look beautiful anyway it means god is there there is a god he's our provider and the same way that the sun comes up every morning the same way that there's enough oxygen the same way that we don't worry about whether or not there's going to be enough oxygen for everybody to breathe in and things like that is the same way that we um think is the same way that we shouldn't let our circumstances and situations take us out may we always may we keep holding on having faith that everything is working together for our good and he does say you go to do not worry or be anxious about anything but in everything take courage take courage be fearless and know that he is with you um yeah thank you so much for being here guys i'm about to start a new weekly vlog um see you on the next one <laughs> in the water let the daughter find an image with the rest she'll be learning how to breathe spinning through identity reveal another pretty little scheme save her mind hold her hand